welcome back. My name is Nightmare, and today we are heading into the catacombs, fighting undead. That's what a paladin should do. So let's do this. Yeah, Framed is a sleepy, sleepy snake. Well, we're not gonna talk to him right now. No need. So let's just run down, and these guys should fall here yeah, with one hit. But there's a twist to the catacombs. We're not there yet, of course, but you will s see what I mean pretty soon. Like these skeletons, they fall to my weapon and they die. And you might say, well, that's... well, why shouldn't they, right? Let's get into the catacombs and i explain it. So you head down here, stay on these stairs, and then there's a skeleton coming up. Now he looks just like the other ones, right? Let's show me what's different. Hit him. He blocks, actually, and oh, I thought he was gonna walk off. Now he's dead. Doing the dead animation, but we're not getting souls right now. Why is that? See, he's rising again. Why is he rising? There are so-called necromancers in here that will resurrect these guys from anywhere. Now this might actually kill him because he fell into the hole. Did it or didn't it? Well, watch out for these skulls. And the explosions. Well, apparently he's now in the great nothing and doesn't die. Great. Now how do you kill these guys with the necromancers active? Like you can backstab them and then you get the sound that he's dead, he breaks apart, but he's gonna rise again. There he goes. And you can kill him again, and it d does nothing. What you need is a divine weapon. For example, a divine claymore, plus 10. This is probably gonna work pretty well. Yeah, there he goes. Now we got the souls, and he's not gonna rise up anymore. But are you gonna have a divine claymore, plus 10 at this point? No, you're not. But what you have is this weapon. A store straight sword. Not plus five. You're gonna have it probably normal unless you upgrade it, of course. Which I can recommend it in the first playthrough. It's a pretty good weapon. I like it a lot. I'm gonna show you why this is a good weapon for this place. Like, the, the damage is not great for me because it's obviously not a very strong weapon at this point anymore but it is a divine weapon that you got right at the start and with this you can pretty much clear the whole place here no problem now there is either using a divine weapon to kill them or you could just run from necromancer to necromancer and then kill the skeletons but that can be risky so I'm actually gonna use my divine weapon and then head further into the catacombs. Give me some more skeletons here. Obviously this weapon is not as strong as my Zweihander but yeah it it has its purpose now this is gonna be the first necromancer. See him? And these guys, not much problems. And now he's dead, he's not gonna respawn once we hit the bonfire here. Hit this uh, lever, and that opens up the first door further down. Now, let me show you what I mean that he is now dead. We're gonna take our 
Let's take the great sword of the Taurus, just and then we smack and we get the souls because the necromancer for these for this part is uh, killed. That means we can use non divine weapons for the skeletons. But I would I would just take a divine weapon if you have it. Of course, that's that's the big if. But if you did the suicide runs, you should have. Now here, he's gonna shoot his fire at you. So just, just keep moving. Walk up this ledge. And then, if you're fast, you can kill him before he runs away. Like I just did. And be careful, there's lots of skeletons here. If you run too far, you're gonna have to battle like three of them at once. Which is bad news. Like, skeletons by themselves are not strong. You know that from the graveyard, probably. And in here, it's no difference. They're not strong whatsoever. But, in numbers, they can get dangerous. The Lucerne weapon, if I pronounce that right, probably not. Probably some French name. And then just make your way through this. Take your time, no rush. Should be fairly simple. for the archer and his melee buddy over there but he's hasn't has not risen yet so no problem we got one humanity from that one and then grab this item now over here actually now that we have our bow we might be able to take out this necromancer now important again try to make headshots because that means he will be stuck in that animation and can't do anything and there we go now we don't have to worry about skeletons rising up again but here watch out again for the floating skulls most importantly always face them once they go up and the nice thing, they will explode their friends. <laughs> Alright, now these statues. There's this statue, which does nothing. If you stand in front. Now this one, it has this little stone plate face on it <laughs> bye bye and if you stand close to it those spikes will come out so it's real easy to see just wait look closely to these statues and then you see the face keep your shield up no no problem hit this lever which turns the bridge back there and then run back here to grab this item. Now there's a bonfire back here, but we can't get there yet. But we will in a few seconds. It's also a nice place if you get invaded and you are standing at one of those uh, uh, switches. If somebody tries to cross one of these bridges, you can turn the bridge and then he falls to his death. It's a bit cheap, but hey, whatever works, right? Take out these two. And then you can go in here. But I'm gonna show you what's happening if you go in there now. Uh, not now. Excuse me. 
Because it's a bit tricky, there's lots of falling down and you m might lose your... Uh, this is also one of these uh, places where it's obvious that it's a trap. You can see the little plate, so be careful. Not that you run into it and then get poked in the face. And two more skeletons. And there's gonna be some more here. soul and then we can't go there yet because we haven't activated the lever yet so you want to run down here let him drop to his death but don't continue further down yet now I'm gonna show you where that one room what it had to offer for you right here. Now, if you walk in here, you're gonna drop down. And I think this is where... Yes, there's two crystal lizards here. Gonna get one right away. I said... What? No! Damn it. But no problem. Next uh, tip. Crystal lizards. If you don't kill them on the first try, quit the game, log back in, and then they will respawn at that point. And then you can kill them, no problem. So if you don't hit them the first time, and you really want their crafting materials, go out, back in. There they are. And there we go, got all the stuff. But be careful, all these statues are these traps, so keep your shield up. Then head up here, which should lead us to another drop. Yes. Heal up, and then you just wanna walk over here, drop down, which drops us back. Where we hit the first lever. And there's a skeleton here. Why is there a skeleton here? I thought I killed them all. I didn't hit a bonfire, did I? No. Oh well. Why are these things back? What? Whoa! Okay. Whoa, what the hell? Well, apparently the one skull was above me, the other one below me, so it hit and somewhat behind me. So the first one pushed me back, the other one fourth. Well, that's the only thing I can explain for it. Well, that's embarrassing. Oh well. Again, the, the stuff that most likely kills you in Dark Souls is stupid stuff like this. It's not gonna be the monsters because they outwit you and whatnot. It's gonna be those stupid moments. That something happens that probably should not happen. But the good thing is, even though we drop down, our stuff is still where we left it. So now the only important thing is to get back there fast before we get like invaded because if we die again we lose it all all the humanity all uh, our souls and that is really when it gets real ah, you you're just gonna hate it like if it happened to you already you know what I mean it's just bad like, dying is not bad in this game, once you understand how it works. But the whole thing about losing it all if something 
stupid is, and then you get invaded, especially. And then, to top it off, it's an invader that's actually a hacker, as you, as we, seen before in the video, with the forest invader. And that's just really annoying. But usually, no problem. So now I'm gonna do this. Stay closer to the wall. And what you also can do is just walk away from it. You don't have to take the explosion. Now it's gonna kill his body. And there's our stuff. So, yeah. One stupid death because of something... Did that actually do damage? A little bit. So... Might be worse for you, depending on your armor. Now, since we dropped down uh, through that gap, now what you want to do is roll over there. So walk here, roll, land there, then run up here. And then you want to roll through this wall, which leads you to that bonfire that we were able to see before. There we go. And go up here and hit this lever, which now turns that bridge. Jump down. Now you could either go in this uh, hallway, or if you want to be a bit adventurous. You can drop onto that little ledge there and into that path. And that's what I'm gonna do now. So you run here, then you jump over like this. And then skeletons are gonna follow you and fall to their death. And then roll here. Now don't jump down here yet. There's an item here, the Great Scythe. And you can drop down here again. Like this. Which now takes you a lot further than you should be, so... You don't run into that door, you go back up. Face off against this skeleton horde. Get nuked. here. Finish these guys. Head up this little staircase. Now we're gonna go out this door and guess where we're gonna come out? On top of that bridge. We just did our stunt. So we're gonna do that again. Now we're gonna drop down here. Hit the switch. Which should be doing something, which is it is not right now. Two more suicide skeletons. 
Oh, don't let me lie. We are now back here. Yes. All right. Now here, if you wanna go all the way down. And now for this jump, like, you might be able to see there's a hole down there. You don't wanna hit that, of course, because that will be your death. And you wanna just walk. Like this. I'm gonna show you. Just walk, land on this. Then walk again, land on this, get a green titanite shard, and then you wanna drop all the way down. Which should not kill you. And then you drop down. No, oh, what is this? Oh no. Thanks, I guess. Now, just kidding. He is important. He is another blacksmith for fire weapons. And he will, well, reinforce your weapons, obviously, but he will also make fire weapons. Then he sells homeward bones, titanite shards. So this is the smith that's the worst to access because you have to go all the, always down here and there's no bonfire and you can't oh yeah forgot about these guys now one important thing i noticed about these whatever you do don't lock onto them because most of the time um you're going to pull more than one and if you lock on to the first and he got rolls past you, he's gonna hit you in the back. And that's bad, real bad. So what you wanna do is get his attention. So get his attention. Okay, now we got the attention of the other guy that I didn't wanna get yet. But oh well, nothing to change. If you use these uh, skulls smart, you can actually use them to your advantage. And yeah, now we have a problem. We have a black knight and pinwheels. So always run after them and then slice them up. But always make sure there's not one coming up like this. And then run towards him, turn around. The other one is now way behind you. I said way behind me and not screwing my explanation. But as you can see, they hurt. They really, really hurt. Now this should be clear, yes. Well, then you head up here. Watch out, there's gonna be a necromancer and two archers here. Get a short bow, probably the skull lantern. Now this is an important item for the next part of the catacombs. What we're, we're not there yet, but you will see what I mean. And that will be a place where you have to make a important choice. Oh. We got parried by a skeleton. How bad is that? Now here See, that breaks down if you walk over it. It's a little darker. Same here. But it's the same room that you're gonna drop down into. And here, the Black Knight would wait for you. 
if you would get past him without him noticing. Then you want to drop down like he did and go back up. might be able to finish this part of the catacombs and then make probably just make it two parts and then be done with it so don't drop down again otherwise you have to walk back up again and you don't want that A waste of time large soul the name the soldier now here we're gonna face the next titanite demon don't worry he's not undead so you don't have to use your weaker weapon but he's again these demons are always hard hitters but you can walk very close to him before he actually attacks you so get close now he's active There he goes. Titanite Catchpole, Demon Titanite. Now we get here three eyes of death. Now, what is so special about this area? You walk here and you see this coffin sticking out. Nestle in coffin. Now this is the next covenant you can join. We're not gonna do this because I already got what I wanted from that. But you uh, lie into this cof coffin for, it feels like 30 seconds. And then a cutscene will happen. It will transport you to the uh, next end boss of the second part of the catacombs, the Tomb of Giants. And there you can join the Gravelord Covenant. And what you get from them is... You get a weapon. Where is it? Great sword. Fuck you. The Grave Lord Sword, which looks like this. And then you can drop uh, these uh, Eyes of Death. Now what do they do? If you drop them, in three other players' worlds, red phantoms will appear, which are stronger and a pain in the butt. And they then have to find the uh, summon sign of the Gravelord Servant and then kill him to dispel that effect. So, I joined this covenant and tried it. I never got invaded. Because you can still run around and then a summon sign will be like 5 seconds behind you, following you. And people can then track you down. But it never happened, so... Yeah. I think the forest... Uh, Defenders of the Forest is actually the best covenant now for PvP because of the reduced player numbers. And remember this place? We drop down from here. So there's actually one more place we need to visit. And then I think we do the boss probably in the next video, unfortunately. Getting kind of long again. Now let's go here. Yes, and here. Well, that's a brittle wall. Hit it. And there's an archer here. Drop down, kill him. And again, this is no problem because we have our divine weapon. But there is a necromancer here, so if you don't have one, these will spawn again and again. You wanna climb up here, take out one more archer. go, then you roll down, and then back there is an item, but there's something gonna happen. Surprise! No problem. 
And here you're gonna get a ring. The Dark Moon Seance Ring. That you need to join the Dark Moon Dark Moon Covenant. But since we killed the Ark Sun Gwyndolin already, we cannot do this anymore. So basically you would need to go into the catacombs before you go uh, to Anno Londo. If you want to join that covenant. And we go here, up here, and that should take us to the last necromancer. Yes, there he is. Now we can go up here. Tranquil Walk of Peace. Another round and we drop down here and we're back with the second Yes, the second um, Necromancer. So now actually we we are gonna do the boss. Not gonna cut it. Might be confusing. So let's just speed run this. Run past everything. <sighs> yeah. They always try it as well and they always fail. Then you wanna go here. This should be the place where we usually drop down. Yes. So, now, why are we here? Because we can summon some reinforcements. A really funny character. So you wanna slowly walk here and then drop down. Which drops you here. Grab the soul. This Paladin Leroy. And we're gonna take our Cyanor again. Yes, there he is. Paladin Leroy. Now you wanna slowly drop down here to get this item. Which is priest armor. Alright, Leroy, let's go. Kill the boss real quick and then call it a video. So you run down here and here's the door. Important, make sure that Leroy is behind you when you go through the door. Because there will be a cutscene once you enter the boss battle area. And Leroy needs to be through the door, otherwise he will be outside and you and cannot help you, and that would be really bad. So what you want to do here, apply your buff, of course. Now whatever you have, and then drop down, and the cutscene will happen. Creepy fellow, isn't he? Yeah. What the hell? Okay, you get to take some fall damage when you drop down. And then you want to charge. Now, he, it looks like he has two friends, but actually, it's just it's just one. It's illusions. So. Make sure you know which one is the right one. And then take out the illusions as you see fit. Now he's gonna charge another one. This should be the real one, yes. And there goes Pinwheel. Which gives us the right of kindling. 
which allows us to get 20 Estus Flask of a bonfire if we kindle it. Get Humanity, Homeward Bone, Leroy goes home. And he drops one of his three masks. We get the Mask of a Child. Great, I actually don't have that one yet. So yeah, I'm gonna call this video here and then continue into the Tomb of Giants. So please subscribe if you liked what you've seen. Leave me a like and I see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.